up to recently it was quite difficult to get samples in Belgium, don't you think? Mm -hmm. um, it's like the law didn't allow it, I thought, yeah. <laughs> She's eating her cookie. Um, the law didn't allow it? <laughs> yeah, but in Belgium... <laughs> Must I wait? I will wait. Yeah, it's not polite to eat when your mouth oh, is... Oh, we don't care about polite here. Mm, okay. Mm, mm. Uh, but, so up to In Belgium, people are used to get samples for free. Sample uh, is equal to being free, so that's yeah. why uh, we're not used to... Uh, but there are a few uh, shops, new shops, who... Uh, that do uh, sell samples. samples. Yeah, um, but um, so yeah, like shops like Ici Paris, the, the mainstream designer perfume chain stores, they give samples when you buy stuff. They just yeah. give a couple of free samples. Um, for free, yeah. For free or with purchase. But like niche samples were really hard to get come by. Um, and only recently shops, online shops like Skins started selling samples of almost all their fragrances for a very affordable price um, and I really love those. Okay, could you give me that box so I can show them? Yep. Yeah. So this is one of, uh, an example of the samples you'll get from Skins. You'll get this nice little box with the samples in there and it's 20 euros for any of the samples of your choice and they actually fill it up quite nicely. Um, and these are, this is a Frédéric Mull, and there's a Widian in there, and a Nazomato, so they, they, yeah, even the more expensive niche stuff, uh, you can just sample anything, which is amazing, because our blind buying was not good for our wallet. Um, and our Smell Stories in Brussels is a new store. Unfortunately, they had to close down now because of Corona, and they hadn't been open for long, so I'd like to show them some support. They have some really nice, unique, small uh, indie niche houses uh, and they are actually the only place in Belgium that stocks Peter Carter's Centauri perfumes. Yeah. Um, and they have this little uh, subscription service in which you can subscribe and every month for about 20 or 25 euros, it's 20 25, yeah. you <coughs> get five samples that they will just send you with. But, uh, and then you get a discount of 10 euros for your next purchase of a full yeah. bottle. So it's quite interesting. Same with skins, by the way. Okay, yeah. also with, with that box. For a full skin. bottle you get... I actually purchased uh, a, a, a sunscreen by Kula afterwards and I could use that coupon code oh, wow. of one of my sample boxes to get 10 euros off mm -hmm. on my sunscreen. So that was cool. Anyway, so you get also a similar looking box with five um, perfumes in there. I don't think I, I actually knew any of the brands that they gave samples of. You did, you have one of them, I think. Uh, yeah. Vapeur, you have yeah, that one. Uh, Sulemont. Sulemont, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's not a first impression for me entirely, but it's a first mm -hmm. impression for you. Yeah, except from the... Uh, too. Yeah, that one you have a full bottle of. But uh, these are really special. This is really good for the perfume lover who just wants to discover new things that they have never tried before. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Some really unique, unknown houses. So first off, we have Hysteria. I'll put the brand names on the screen because they're not on here and I'm not sure what they are. So this just says Hysteria. I'll maybe use blotters because not all of them are skin friendly. <laughs> yeah, but we don't ruin the yeah. our skin for the rest of yeah. yeah. Okay. This is Hysteria. Hysteria. Hysteria, and it's by Maison Gabriella Chifo. Chiefo. And it's, oh, it's dominant. Chiefo. Yep. Patchouli, that's the earthiness. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Clary sage, labdanum, uh, cashmere and wood, iris, oh, see, iris I vanilla also. and bergamot. Not incense. No. No. Um, My nose uh, is cheating on me today. Yeah. It's very earthy to me. 
and as it dries down, I get where you might see some incense in, in the opening because it's stronger. But now it's definitely very, very patchouli. And the vanilla is already less. Mm hmm. Yeah, I get some uh, iris now too. You do? Yeah. But it reminds me of something that great place. It doesn't really remind me of a perfume, it reminds me of something else. Of a really nature. This is so nature like. This smells like something I would smell walking in a forest or... Yeah, true, yeah. Wet, wet soil. Wet soil. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. So that's Hysteria. We'll come back to that one later for the dry down. Then the next one is... Ah, you know this one. Treffpunkt 8 Uhr. Oh yeah, Schwarzlose Berlin. Schwarzlose Berlin. Yes. Yeah. Und is it the ones that similar mm. to Femini de du Bois? No. Because they have one, but I can't remember the name. Treffpunkt. Oh, that's really original. Yeah, it's super, super original. It's very hard to uh, detect the notes to me. I, I, there's one that I got immediately. So it's one of my favorite manly notes. I'm gonna do a review. Yeah, because it, it's masculine. Oh, it's vetiver then. <laughs> yeah, we know too much about yeah. it. Yeah. A lot of vetiver. But it's a beautiful vetiver, don't you think? And there's mango in there. Yeah. Oh, mango. Yeah. Sweet I notes. So. I, I wouldn't say that it's, it's, it would have... Mango and ginger. It's grapefruit, sage and saffron and ginger and mango. It's, it's and vetiver. It's very complex. It's refined and it's it has a lot in in one sniff you you get a lot of very broad. Yeah, yeah. This is this would be so great on a guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Nice oh, guy. Yeah. Uh huh. But it smells. There's something foodie. Yeah, the mango, probably. I get, no, get, get yeah, mango. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the first time I also, I th this is actually just the second time I've smelt it, but I got a full wearing and it lasts forever. It lasted for a long time on me. No, I really enjoy that one. Mm, yeah, it's the score isn't too great on Fragrantica, it's like a 3.8, but yeah, what do they know? Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's really it's nice. nice. Yeah. And I think it refers to the um, to to like eight o'clock in the morning after going partying in Berlin. Okay, Treffpunkt. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's early morning or like late late night, but probably more after a party. It has something really dirty, sexy. I don't know, boozy even. I don't know. It has something very sexual to me. Mm. You do get that? I don't know if it's the vetiver, the manly vetiver mixed with a sweet mango, ginger. It's has something really warm, spicy. warm, uh, yeah, sexy. It's amazing, yeah. Yeah, mm, yeah I love that thing. We'll go, come back for the dry down. And then we have Night. I think this is by Akro. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is it about then? <laughs> What's it Akro about? Is, 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 uh, it's always with a the new theme. a new brand by Oliver Cresp who uh, created Angel by Mugler and now he started his own brand with all things we are addicted to and this is night so it must be about sex. Oh yeah, yeah, I get the sweat, the cumin. Yeah, the sweat, the cumin. It's so cute. It's this is just cumin. pure it's cumin. It's like a bit like a secret. Allez, secret magnifique. Secret magnifique, yeah. Yeah? I haven't smelled that actually. Once, I, I, it's not that bad, it's really kind. It's not shocking at all. Uh, I, and you get the metal um, smell of, of blood as well, but not oh. here. Yeah, this is super dominant cumin with some yeah. Bulgarian rose, some saffron and some... Uh, 
agarwood wood. Yeah, you have the cumin, but next to it, it reminds me of diapers. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I really hate this. <laughs> yeah, it's it's supposed to be rather shocking and then not really. Uh, yeah, it's about the idea, I think. Yeah, it's just the artistic thing of it. But I put this on my skin the first time and I really couldn't handle it. I it's needed to. It's a crème magnifique. Uh, is that right? mm. What did I say? Liquide secrétion. Secrétion magnifique. Secrétion magnifique. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not horrible. On a, it's this mm. this on a woman would just does not work on a woman. I think maybe on it's it smells mm. like male sweat specifically. Yeah, yeah, cumin it's is more for for a male. Yeah, but it has something yeah like dirty diapers too. But I have that with uh, secrétion magnifique as well. Yeah, I get some kind of baby powder or like a baby wipe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or the baby the the lotion that they put on the baby bums. <laughs> Mixed with man sweat. Yum. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> Probably tonight. you won't even notice that, that if a man is wearing this, that he has a perfume on. No, this will just smell like some nice body odor. Mm. But um, yeah, the night, this is like a heavy night of partying. Mm. I get a bit of the rose. Don't you get the rose? Which I also don't think, I, I don't yeah. really like rose like that. The rose in the diapers, yeah. Yeah, mm. from the <laughs> rose in diapers. Diapery rose. So, that's Night by Acro. We'll let it dry down for a bit. And then we have Beef One. Really? I should give this to you so you can uh, include the it Greek, in your... The Greek, uh, yeah, because I know that they have a Greek creator. I'm not sure by who the, what the... Menakis or something. By Manos Gerakinis. A Greek designer. Mm -hmm. And the first impression is apple, yeah. red apple. But now it's starting to shift to uh, yeah, something floral-like. The carnation, the rose, the peony, the jasmine. Do you get any of that? I can't really point it out uh, mm. which flower I, I have, but it reminds me of, of the perfumes of the 80s. It smells more like a designer to me. It does, I don't know, it's it, like a designer from the 80s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Diabolique, what was the other one? Sous le manteau. Le vapeur, vapeur diabolique. Yeah, also a nice red bottle. And this is quite a beast. Ooh, oops. <laughs> Do I have any blotters left? Okay, let's put it on here. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah. I have it. Because it's the, the cardamom, I think. I bought it because I, I think it's got a really interesting cardamom note. Yeah. It's nice, but for me this is very masculine too. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. This is quite... I wouldn't wear this myself. Or It's not... No, it, it's definitely unisex. It's not per se masculine, but dark and heavy. And, and very dry, dry too. Yeah. It's dry. I like dry perfumes. Yeah. Dry and spicy, very spicy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cloves? Mm -hmm. No? And there's vetiver in there, okay. and benzoin, and labdanum, and tonka, and vanilla, and incense, and patchouli, and, and the others are too small lots to see. Lots of notes. Yeah, lots of notes. Yeah. It's nice. I would prefer this on you or a man. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means that you you get away with darker things, or heavier. I don't know. I'm not a lesbian, yeah? Oh, too bad. So, let's go back. We're gonna revisit the dry downs now. Mm -hmm. we, we started with Hysteria. Yeah. <sighs> Gabriela Gieffo. 
You're very earthy. Now it's super earthy. But it reminds me a lot of a perfume I have. But if you think of it, let me know and I'll put it in the edit. Yeah, it's really, really so similar to. Allee, kom er bijna op. She's coming almost <laughs> on. <laughs> Literal translation. <laughs> How many kava have you had? <laughs> How many kava? <laughs> How oh, much? much? Oh yes, teach me English, Aunt Katrin. Allee, that, that's just a copy of something I have. This is just the perfect example of what the earthy patchouli smells like. Yes, yeah. And I would not wear this. Would you wear this? It's, it's not complex enough. It's too bold, it's just too yeah. much for a man again. I think this would be better on a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this on a guy wouldn't be bad. Yeah, because it's sweet, it's surprising. It's original and that earthiness. No, I think I would like that on a guy. Yeah, yeah. It's not too large of a doses. Mm. Yeah. Hysteria. Doesn't that mean womb or something? <laughs> what is womb? Like <laughs> baarmoeder hysteria, heeft daar niks mee. Like hysteria comes from womb because only women are supposed to get hysterical. The next one. Oh yes, my favorite from the box. The acro. No. Oh no 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 the oh yeah the schwarzlose Berlin one. Treffpunkt 8 Uhr. Mm, yeah it's different. Mm. Mm. If a man is wearing this. Yeah, I would wear that. Yeah. I would wear this, Could but it's better on a guy. It's more it is unisex leaning very masculine. I think the first discovery box is definitely uh, inspired for men, mm -hmm. masculine. Uh, yeah, all of these are quite manly. Mm -hmm. This is lovely. Still in the dry down, and then we have. Oh, this is the echo one. Yeah, it's it's like dirty diapers. Yeah, dirty sweaty man diapers. <laughs> yeah. Men diapers. <laughs> Not baby diapers, but men Oof. diapers. Yeah, this is nice now. The pivot? Mm -hmm. I'm really curious about that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you, you get the uh, peony. Yeah. You get the peony more and with the apple in the background. Yeah. Mm. No, this, is, this would be a lovely one for summer. Or a springtime, summer, beautiful, fresh, sweet. Also very invigorating and uplifting. Yeah. A daytime one because it's it doesn't have yeah. enough punch for the moment. Not enough oomph. Yeah. But it's yeah, still it's mm. yeah. Yeah, very edible. Yeah. I take it back that it smelled designer. Oh no, it still kinda does, but in a very good designer. <laughs> We're such snobs. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So that was it. Oh no, and then we still had the Diabolico. Sulemonto. Oh, here. Yeah, this is very masculine to me. I don't actually see how you can wear that even. Yeah, but I, I really like it sometimes to wear a masculine perfume, though I have to admit that I don't really <laughs> wear it often. <laughs> But I like the dry effect. Yeah. I don't know, it has something... To me that would be a good summer night festival kind of vibe. Yeah. It is special. Don't you get yeah. cloves in there? Yeah. We have a, a coriander cardamom. You get I don't, I don't know if I'm right. Doesn't matter. I don't mind this, but not too much for myself. 
I want my guy to smell like this on a not too hot summer night. It's more appropriate for a summer night than a winter night, even though it's very heavy. I don't understand why. Do you get this for winter? No, it has a, a something sweet to it. And mm -hmm. I think that's the coriander or the cardamom. Mm -hmm. If, when they talk about it at skins, they say it's supposed to be a secret <laughs> veil, Second a secret skin? weapon you have, sous le manteau, under your um, coat. It's a secret weapon you have under your coat to seduce somebody. Yeah, that's how they uh, put it. It's in like when you flash. <laughs> and Smell me. <laughs> So it's supposed not to uh, not to be too uh, pronounced, yeah. To to yeah. mix with your old uh, with your uh, skin with your own skin uh, yeah. chemistry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those were the five um, samples from this is the first sample set we got from Smell Stories. Anyone in the Benelux who wants to go check them out, go check them out. It's a very interesting sense. You yeah. also had a your own small stories box, right? Yeah, um, uh, the discovery box with blossoms. Yeah. Oh, it's all blossoms? It's yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah, it tricked me. So that was the first box by small stories. If you want to see another box, then um, go to the, 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 the second the part of the video. Is it? What? And, oh, she's so cute. And that was the first set and now we're gonna um, <laughs> Now we're gonna discuss her box. I'm gonna sniff her box. Yeah.